Is this thing on? Okay, stand by, take two. Here we go. I got out of my track suit for this. Good evening and welcome to the 38th Annual Manhattan at the Bay. I am Gina Tonioni Shirello from the graduating class of 1992. And I wish we could gather together and celebrate our yearly cabaret and weekend of fundraising. But you know what? I am looking forward to when we can safely get together at our beautiful Bayview sometime soon. But we have an incredible virtual event lined up for you tonight. We have an auction that can be found on the Manhattan website. We also have performances by our talented alumni. And we have a mini style cabaret production brought to you by the Bayview players right from the Bayview stage. And I know that the girls have worked very hard to put the show on for you tonight. So thank you so much for all of your hard work despite the difficult circumstances. Manhattan at the Bay has been a special homecoming for so many, myself included. As a former Bayview player, this tradition is very dear to my heart. Bayview's cabaret performances directed by Mrs. Cavanaugh are renowned for their high quality productions. The fundraising events that surround these shows are vital to our school's health and its future. Now, I know that not everyone can give right now, but if you can, please, consider making a gift to our virtual event. We're doing something special tonight. We're raising money. We're raising money for the Manhattan at the Bay Fund. And what this does, it surrounds all of the general operations for the Academy, so it's really important. We're also very excited to announce the inaugural Christine D. Cavanaugh Endowment for the Performing Arts. Now, when you make a donation to this endowment, you are setting the stage for the performing arts programs and the scholarships for the performing arts students for years to come. I know so many of you watching tonight were positively impacted by Mrs. Kavanaugh, as I was. I was a junior high student and I remember the day I met Mrs. Kavanaugh and I was so taken aback by the fact that she saw me, she heard me and she always encouraged me to keep my instrument open and to use what God gave me. And I still remember those words today. So thank you once again, Mrs. Kavanaugh. Now, whether or not you give to the Manhattan Bay Fund or you give to the Christine D. Kavanaugh Endowment, we appreciate your support so much. God bless you for what you do for our school. Thank you. Enjoy tonight. Happy 38th Cabaret, friends. And now I'd like to welcome Bay News President, Sister Mary Beth Beretta. Hi, Sister Mary Beth. Hi, Gina, and thank you so much for that very nice introduction. And welcome everyone, our Bayview families, alumni, and friends to our 38th annual Manhattan at the Bay. This time last year, I don't think any of us could have imagined the impact COVID-19 would have on our lives or the whole world. Never could we have imagined that so many people would die, so many people would lose their jobs, and so many businesses would close, and so many students would not be able to return to school. Thankfully, our students have had the option of in-person or virtual learning, and this has been a true blessing. Last year at this time, our Bayview community of alumni, parents, friends, and community sponsors helped us to raise enough money to help families impacted by the pandemic to keep their daughters in school. Additionally, because of your support, we were able to outfit our classrooms with the needed resources to keep our students safe and to continue to provide them the option to attend classes in person. Without your support of Bayview and the success of Manhattan at the Bay, we would not have been able to weather the pandemic as well as we have. So thank you. Thank you for joining us for this annual event and for supporting our students. As many of you know, I am not a Bayview alumna. Even though I always wanted to attend Bayview, there wasn't any busing from my hometown of Lincoln. Instead, I arrived at Bayview years after I graduated from high school to attend my first Manhattan at the Bay Cabaret. I think it was 1987 or 88, and I was simply blown away. The show was just unbelievable, and I was totally amazed at the level of talent. I thought that they were performers that were hired to come in for the show. When I was told that they were not hired performers, but all students from Bayview, 
I just couldn't believe it. It was just spectacular. That high level of caliber of our performing arts has been a hallmark of our academy for decades, thanks to the direction and dedication of Mrs. Kavanaugh, my friend and colleague. And as Gina just mentioned, we are very excited about the establishment of the endowment in Mrs. Kavanaugh's name. Mrs. Kavanaugh joined St. Mary Academy Bayview in September 1983 as the performing arts teacher. In her 39 years at Bayview, she has built a performing arts program known across New England by producing over 75 shows, both musical and dramatic, and winning several awards in the process. Under her direction, the Bayview Players and the Chamber Chorus have performed at venues worldwide, including the American School in Paris, the Vatican Veterans Memorial Auditorium, and the Performing Arts Center. Mrs. Kavanaugh quickly became famous for her cabaret-style shows that she produced with musical director Ms. Diane Gualtieri. Her annual cabarets evolved into Bayview's largest fundraiser, Manhattan at the Bay, which, as you know, is a tradition that we are celebrating its 38th anniversary tonight. Although the pandemic required significant changes to our performing arts program and our annual Manhattan at the Bay fundraiser, we know this is not forever. There is no time like the present to ensure that the performing arts at Bayview are well-funded for generations to come. The Performing Arts Endowment is long overdue, and I am excited to begin building it to ensure the continuation of our performing arts program. This year, a very generous donor came forward to offer to match up to 1.5 million in funds raised to support Bayview. And I am excited to announce that we have raised to date over 1.2 million towards that match. Your support will help us get us to that finish line by June 30th. So tonight, whether you support the Christine D. Kavanaugh Endowment for the Performing Arts or designate your gift to wherever it is most needed, know that our donor is matching your gift and we are truly grateful for your support. Thank you so much for being here tonight and for your support of our students. And a very special thank you to our alumni performers and the current Bayview players. Enjoy the show. The bells of St. Mary's at close of the day are calling me homeward back home to the bay. I'm Olivia Colpo. And I'm Aurora Colpo. And this is Soleil. And that's Remy screaming outside the door. And we wanted to say happy 38th anniversary, Manhattan at the Bay. We're sending all of our love and hope it's an amazing, amazing season. 2020 was a hard year. I mean, sometimes you didn't even want to wake up. A lot of people tried new hobbies, like baking sourdough bread. We got a COVID puppy. Aww. Say hi, Teddy. Uh, learning the guitar. Danielle decided she wanted to be a dancer. Give me somebody to dance for. Give me somebody to show. Let me wake up in the morning to find I have somewhere exciting to go. To have something that I can believe in. To have someone to be. Use me, choose me. God, I'm a dancer, a dancer dances. Wow. You know what? You be you. You be a dancer. 2020's been rough. I mean, we couldn't see our loved ones. We couldn't hug our parents. I got COVID. I was stuck in my room in solitary confinement for 10 days. Touch me, it's so easy to leave me all alone with a memory of my days in the sun. If you touch me, you'll understand what happiness is.
little bit of what 2020 was for us. But we're so excited because now that everybody's vaccinated, we can see each other. In fact, Danielle's on her way over right now. She left her dancing shoes at home, but she's coming over so we can sing together, finally. Hi, Bayview. Hi, Mrs. Kavanaugh. Hi, Bayview. Hi, Mrs. Kavanaugh. So we wanted to get together to make sure that we expressed how much Bayview did for us during our tenure there. We certainly both would not be where we are today without the amazing foundation, the arts, uh, the care, and the love and support that Baby gave both of us. We just wanted to leave you with a song that means a lot to us from our time together at Baby. Uh, so we're so happy we can sing together again. <laughs> okay, okay. Sul mare lucica, la strada argento, placida e l'onda, prospero il vento. Sul mare lucica, la strada argento, placida e l'onda, Prospero il vento, venite alla gine, Margheta mia, Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia, venite alla gine, Margheta mia. Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia. Hi, I'm Colleen Gribben, principal of the middle school and the upper school. We're so happy to be performing once again. Enjoy the show. Hi, I'm C. Pate. I'm the vice principal here at Bayview. My first graduating class was 1986. So I've had the pleasure of watching many, many cabarets and I've loved every single one of them. And I'm so happy to hear that some of our alum will be coming back and performing because that's just great to see them again and allow them to share their talents with us as they're a little older. And I just wanna share with you that while the girls have been performing, it is so great to hear music back again in the school. It's been so quiet for so long. And I truly believe that music heals a soul. And I just love to hear the music. And I hope you all enjoy a Cabaret 38 and know how hard these girls have been working, alum and current students, to bring you the best. And you truly are in for a treat. And also, I just want to say to my alum, I think we need another CPAPE mixer. So let's push that with your alumni council person there. I'd appreciate that, because you know I like to dance. All right, thanks. Hi, my name is Emily Kazmarak, and I graduated from Bayview in 2008. And I was in cabaret from seventh grade all the way through 12th. Um, my graduating year was cabaret 25, which was very exciting. Um, and I... Can't, I don't know how to put into words what cabaret means to me. Um, it was the place that I figured out that I was an artist and that I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. Um, I am now a, a TV and film writer and a playwright um, and a librettist. And um, I still perform from time to time. Um, and, and cabaret really showed me who I was and taught me to have confidence in myself and in my abilities. And I just think that, you know, rigorous engagement in the arts is the best thing that could have happened to me as a young person. And I want that for many, many generations of girls to come. Um, I'm so grateful to Mrs. Kavanaugh and um, Miss Gualtieri and to Karen and to Cindy and, and to um, everyone, all the moms and Arlene and, um, everyone who makes cabaret happen. Um, I miss it every April and I hope that you will be, um, really generous, uh, in donating to cabaret and to Bayview and to the, 
Christine Cavanaugh endowment, um, which is so exciting. Um, and, and just protect this incredible experience, this incredible program, um, for all of the young, hungry artists who want to be taken seriously and want to take their work seriously, um, and to have a stage and to be heard and be seen and find themselves, uh, in the way that I was able to with Cabaret. So thank you for everything. And, uh, I hope you enjoy this weekend and I can't wait to be back in that auditorium, um, as soon as possible, um, cheering on the next class of Cabaret stars. Did that really just happen? Have I actually understood this weird quirk I've tried to suppress for high is a talent that could
Hi, I'm Margaret Cummings, principal of the lower school. Welcome to our 38th year of Manhattan at the Bay. Welcome to our show this weekend. And I'm so excited that you're here enjoying it with me. To watch our little girls grow up and then to be in our show, it's, it's so wonderful, especially when we see them come in at such an early age and they say, I want to do that. And when their teacher tells them, you can do that. You'll be able to do that when you get to be 11 years old. And they work hard and they're in their dance classes on the weekends and their parents are supporting them and they get the support from school. And then that first moment they're able to try out to be in our Manhattan show and to see them on stage, it's, it's so fulfilling for me as their principal, but also just fulfilling as a woman and to see these girls grow into young women and to achieve their dreams. Your donations tonight support the whole academy. Thank you so much for your support of the lower school and for every girl, all the way down to our preschoolers, all the way up to our 12th graders. So thank you for your donations. Thank you for your support. And please enjoy the show. Hi, everyone. It's Marcel Jacques Yard, class of 2000 and forever Bayview player here. And I am so excited to have been invited to be part of the 2021 Manhattan at the Bay. I know this isn't the Manhattan at the Bay that we're used to, nor is it the Manhattan at the Bay that we were looking forward to. But I'm ever so grateful to the school and the staff for finding innovative ways to keeping us connected to the program and magic that has meant so much to so many for so long. A lot of schools had to rethink how they taught students and what they could offer. And what Bayview did was nothing short of masterful in pivoting for COVID times. My daughter, Genevieve, is now a current Bayview fourth grader. Genevieve and I are, you know, faithful attendees of Cabaret uh, annually. And before her, I was a faithful attendee of Cabaret because Cabaret really uh, did give me my voice. Cabaret gave me my best friends in the world. I would ask that you take the opportunity to donate to the Christine D. Kavanaugh Endowment Fund, because the reality of it is this, without Christine's vision and her assembling her dream team in Diane Gualteri and Karen Mellor, Manhattan Bay simply wouldn't exist. The memories, the music, the dancing, all of it, wouldn't exist. Consider donating to the Christine D. Kavanaugh uh, Endowment Fund. But more than anything, I ask that you continue to support your, your baby student in their love for the arts uh, and the magic that it brings. I ask that you support the school because they're, they're doing great things and I'm grateful for everything they've given to me over the last 30 years. And as Mrs. Kavanaugh would say,
I never feel a thing is real when I'm away from you. Out of your embrace, the world's a temporary parking place. My name is Marcella Rossi. I am the incoming principal of Bayview, pre-K through 12. I want to thank everybody who participates in this event. I know it's a lot of work. I also want to thank you for the trust that you put in us to educate and accompany your daughters in this wonderful journey that's education. I can't wait to see everybody. I will be watching this event and participating at a distance. Thank you so much and good evening. Hi everyone, happy 38th Cabaret. My name is Casey Cook. I'm a singer-songwriter here in Los Angeles, California, doing what I love to do. Uh, I'm a former class graduate of 2011 of Bayview, and it's really cool to celebrate here with you virtually. Congratulations, Ms. Cavanaugh, on the performance endowment. That is really exciting. And congratulations to the Bayview players performing. I can't even imagine how hard it's been to put on a show during this pandemic. I mean, what a year. I really I have nothing but great things to say about Cabaret and my time there and at Bayview. And as you know, if you've seen the shows, if you've been a part of them, you know how magical it is. Um, I really wouldn't be where I am today without the support educationally and emotionally to pursue what I love to do. and. I'm very, very grateful for my time there. Tonight, I'll be sharing an acoustic rendition of a song that I wrote called Judgments. I actually performed it and pitched it live on national television on a show called Songland on NBC. So check it out if you haven't already, but um, thank you all for your continued support and thank you to everyone at Bayview who has made my time so amazing. Love you all and mwah! Tell me you're 
story I wanna know the whole damn thing Don't hide it from me We both done some crazy things We're the talk of our hometown They were laughing then But look who's laughing now Even if your past is dark I'm willing to look past your scars And show you mine no, no, no judgments Nobody here can judge us now No, no, no judgments Nobody here can tear us down Here's to the widows, to the underdogs, to the wanderers No, no, no judgments I can't judge, cause who am I? Lost in the city Where nobody knows our name don't feel so lonely I can feel your pain I'll still be here tomorrow We'll break the morning light I'll keep you safe tonight Even if your past is dark I'm willing to look past your scars And show you my Snyder. I'm the Vice Principal of Academics and Curriculum at Bayview, and I want to say happy 38th anniversary to Manhattan at the Bay. I am so excited to be part of it this year. It's the first time that I'm able to see it, even virtually, but I'm even looking forward to next year when I get to be part of live singing and dancing. And thank you to Chris Cavanaugh. She has breathed life into our curriculum for so many years. She has made the arts vibrant and a part of who we are as a community. Congratulations on the endowment. We are so thankful to everyone who will contribute to that. And we look forward to celebrating her in the arts for many more years. Good evening. My name is Desiree Fernandes and I'm a graduate of St. Mary Academy Bayview's class of 2009. It starts with a dream. As a Bayview for Lifer, the 13 years I spent at the Bay and the short time I worked in admissions were always invigorated by the performing arts. The countless hours I spent in the chamber chorus, cabaret, orchestra, drama festivals, Rhode Island All-State Chorus, in the costume room assisting with junior chamber, you name it, I did it. Within those walls, I found my passion, I strived to achieve, and I dreamed the impossible. It was within those walls that I found my strength and perseverance. If you've ever seen the wonder in a child's eye when they watched a performance, that was me around the age of four. I never once thought that one cabaret show would change my life. But I've come to realize that it's not the days in your life that you'll remember, it's the memories. That one moment in time allowed me to see myself on stage, to see someone that looked like me doing what I dreamed of. 
many years later, during my time in cabaret, I met that same woman I had seen on stage. Because as Bayview players, we tend to show up and show our support even once our time at the Bay is done. I dared to dream and some of my dreams became a reality. There is a lot of love in those walls and even more love in the people who surrounded us every day and fostered our education and creativity. But if you look closely, there are also a lot of dreams. So many of my memories are housed there and I know that Bayview has a permanent place in my heart. At least once during cabaret rehearsals, Mrs. Cavanaugh would say, I had a dream about you and you were singing, wearing, or doing something in the show, or in my case, senior year, carrying around a baby doll. Today, you can make a dream come true. Today could be that one moment in time that will set the standard for tomorrow. Please consider donating to Bayview and to the Christine D. Kavanaugh Endowment for the Performing Arts. By doing so, you're supporting the goal that a young girl, like I myself once was, of one day achieving their dreams. Thank you. This is the moment when the gods expect me to beg for help, but I won't even try. I want nothing in the world but myself to protect me and I won't lie down, roll over and die. All I have to do is forget how much I love him. All I have to do is put my longing to one side. Tell myself that love's an ever-changing situation. Passion would have cooled and all the magic would have died. It's easy, it's easy. All I have to do is pretend I never knew him on those very rare occasions when he steals into my heart. Better to have lost him when the ties were barely binding. Better the content of the familiar cannot solve. It's easy, it's easy. Until I think about him as he was when I last touched him And how it would have been were I to be with him today Those very rare occasions don't let up, they keep on coming All I've ever wanted
Hello, Bayview. It's Jacqueline Tasca Bullman. I was so excited to receive a call regarding Manhattan at the Bay this year and asking me to be a part of this special performance. What an honor it really is. I mean, I wish I could, I, like so many of us, I wish we could all run back to that stage and sing together and relive some of the most special memories we have in our hearts at Bayview. Some of my earliest memories are from there when I was in kindergarten and Sister Hilda and Mrs. Cavanaugh pulled me aside and asked me to sing on the good ship Lollipop and being six years old and singing Annie on the stage, it's all in the closest, most special place in my heart. So I hope you enjoy this year's performance of one of my favorite and um, best solo performances at Bayview. It's my take on it at home and we're bringing it back to you at Bayview. So I hope you enjoy it. I love you all so much. Thank you again for asking me to be a part of such a special year. And I wish you all well and I hope and pray we can all be together soon and sing together on that stage. Alexa, play New York, New York. Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I wanna be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray And step around the heart Little town blues are melting away. I'll make a brand new start of it in old New York. If I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you.
get them, girl. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come, hear the music play. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. Put down the knitting, the book, and the broom. It's time for a holiday. Life is a cabaret, old chum. It's only a cabaret, old chum. And I love a cabaret. Hi, everyone. Great to see you. Going to be a great evening. Miss Gualteri, any words to say? We thank you, and we miss you, and we love you. And we look forward to seeing you. And we ask you at this time to please sit back, relax, yes. and, and enjoy, enjoy the, the show. show.
might never be mean, might never be cross, or try to be boss, but they wouldn't do for nobody else. Gave me a thrill with all your faults. I love you still. It had to be you, wonderful you. It had to be.
I believe the wall started with the very first production that I was directing here at Bayview with Diane Gualteri as the musical director, and that would have been Godspell. And so at the end of Godspell, unbeknownst to me, the cast of about 15 students decided it would be a great idea to sign the wall. And if they signed it high enough, people might not notice it right away, but they would have made their mark. And that's where it all began. The signing of the wall became a tradition at the end of the last show over the many cabaret years. That as a senior, you had the privilege of finding a spot that you probably would have staked out prior to. And you wrote something meaningful, something profound, something that left your mark somewhere in the eaves and the theater itself. When I came to Bayview and joined this program, I was so fascinated to see how close the girls were, even just with, you know, their friends and even with some of the teachers too. And, you know, when you first get here, you see all the writing on the walls and you're like, oh, what's that? And then I always explain that that's every girl who's ever been through the program and some guys too, but it's every, every single girl signed that wall who has been and graduated through that program. And I started looking for spots in sixth grade because <laughs> I was so enthralled with the fact that there was just these memories on this wall. I've been waiting to sign the wall ever since I was in junior chamber as a fourth grader, like seeing all these signatures on the wall. It's like, oh my gosh, like one day I'm gonna get to do that. And honestly, it hasn't hit me yet that like I'm gonna get to do that right now. Like, wow. <laughs> It's like a gift, you know, to be able to contribute something to a school and like a community that I honestly admire like so much. It feels just like a wonderful opportunity to just share a piece of myself with everybody who's put so much work into Cabaret over the years and to be able to say like, I also was a part of that for like one moment in time. It's magical. They all were really excited to have had their presence on this stage. And they talk about that in lots of different places. So I've spent many hours reading them. I always feel comforted in that there's just not a spirit of Bayview, but there is. There's this almost spiritual aspect of it that this is who's come before me and there'll be ones who come after me too. And to the alums, I'd say thank you for doing this, starting this tradition. I don't know when it was started, I hope it really never ends. I know there are some signatures so old that they've faded beyond the ability to read, but if you wrote on that wall, your sisterhood never dies here. So just a big thank you for doing this and keeping it alive for us in future generations. I've had the privilege of being here for 37 years, working for the Sisters of Mercy actually for 46 years. When I look at the wall, I see great love for what these students participated in. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel like it's all still alive and you want to keep it rolling. There's no reason to stop. It's just another chapter to keep moving. I can't tell you what it does for me.
until